Hello, Jesse here with GPS City. We're going to do a quick overview of Garmin Basecamp. Garmin Basecamp is the new software that manages your maps and GPS data. It replaces Garmin Map Source. It's actually really good software. So let's just take a look how um, everything's laid out. Um, we're currently looking at the Mac version of it. Uh, you can't see the uh, top file or the menu bar, but the main window we can take a look at right now. We've got the uh, Send to GPS button here. Um, and we got the receive from GPS so we could get data on and off our units. We have our find option. This is going to search through the current map set that you have selected for different points of interest, road data and so on. We have our hand tool which is used for panning the map. Just click on the map, grab it and you could pull it all around. Our zoom tool. Left click to zoom in and right click to zoom out or draw a box around the area you want to zoom into and you could do it that way also. We have our waypoint tool for marking waypoints. Just click on the screen where you would like to mark the waypoint. And then you could go in here and edit the name, change the symbol, and also add a descriptive comment and also add a geotagged photo to it. And if you go into advanced, you could <clears throat> edit the latitude longitude just in case you're entering a point where you know this information. This will help get you down exact. So you got your elevation. You could also set a proximity around it so you do get warnings when getting close to that point. Once you're done, just click on the X to get out. We also have a route tool. Uh, to use the route tool, you just click on the map where you want to go and it's going to follow roads if that's what you have it set to. Or you could have it set to just do the way a crow flies, a straight line. We have our track tool for creating tracks on the screen. It's just like using a pen, just click and move your mouse and it's going to draw a track wherever the mouse moves. This is useful for creating data, sending it over to your GPS to follow, just like a route. And we have our measure tool. Measure tool is pretty cool because it's going to measure between multiple points. Also, once you get uh, more than one line in there, it's also going to give you an area. That's this pink area here, it's 0.37 square miles. And as we keep adding more to the polygon, you can see the everything changes distance and area wise. And lastly, if we look along the left hand side, this is where all our data is going to be managed. Uh, we can sort everything by the time last week, last month, recently read from GPS. Um, and then down here is all the actual data that's showing up on the map. Uh, you can see I have geocaches, general waypoints with these dots here. We've got a few test waypoints and ones that I've placed when I was out in the field. And then down at the bottom here we have routes that we've created on the screen for this video and tracks. At any time at the bottom here there's a little show on map icon. Just click on that to show exactly where that point is and as you can see here it's I've got a picture tied to that point that's because I was using a Garmin Oregon 500 which automatically geotakes photos before I upload them